so you see the experience of the boy at the same time you see the experience of the man and they're kind of in an, the same reality and <clears throat> I think if you were to sort of parse it out you would say that the boy is inside of the man's memory but it all happens dramatically on stage back and forth back and forth and it doesn't necessarily draw the line between <clears throat> the boy and the man you don't see the, the boy at four, you know 18 19 my dad died when I was 14 and so that's sort of where the play excavates the boy's story with a messenger who and the boys can't let go of his father and so he ends up going into the coffin of his father and that's the last we see of him and then we see the adult one stuck in his own box his own mental box it's not a literal one uh, trying to put on this play and he gets visited by uh, his grandfather his father's father whom I never knew who was a prison guard in San Quentin uh, and was never introduced to the family died when I was very young um, was quite different than my father from everything that I you know and he didn't have a relationship with him but he's a central character in this play which is what's sort of fabulous about the way Tony has taken my story and gone further with it so it's not literally about my mother or my you know all the sisters and brothers in fact I had to tell my sisters and brothers that they weren't in the play which uh, pleased some of them and upset the others uh, and then I told my mother that she doesn't speak and she, she thought, oh, that was obviously your fantasy about me, that I don't speak. And I said, no, you're just a very strong presence in the play. My mother, when she found out we were doing this play, was, was terrified at, at the beginning because she's a very private person. Um, uh, and it, she held the whole thing very privately. And in fact, one of the issues in the play is that the whole, the whole experience, because of the public nature of the death of my dad, kind of forced an almost silence inside of the family. It wasn't, we weren't free to grieve in a way that was perhaps natural or, uh, I mean, I don't know what the norm is, but, um, but because of that, my mother was so protective of us, of everything that was going on locally, nationally, in terms of the pressure, the, the focus on us, that she tried to keep us cloistered from that. So she did her best to kind of keep it, keep it quiet. But so all of it went inside my head. And lo, these many years later, it's in my work. So it comes out when I'm talking to people about my work. When, when I direct a play, I really go for the emotional. I go really intensely into the emotion and, you know, really claim that theater is about life and death stakes all the time. No matter what the show is, I could be doing an Oscar Wilde play and I feel that be the case.